Okay, back here into the second pin of the preview, we're, we're going to switch uh, litters here. We're going to go to litter 31. So this would be 31-4 uh, that's hooked up here with along with his uh, littermate brother, 31-5. So the 31s are big bangs uh, from Crossroads Genetics there. Back on a set the curve, sa second litter sow um, that... Uh, um, Oh, was a litter mate to a class winning barrow that uh, the Render family showed at Illinois last year. Uh, this sow was actually showed up in Minnesota uh, and had a good good jackpot career. Uh, we had she this sow had this mating the first time around back in February, and we just had the uh, uh, South Dakota uh, State Fair there the the champion Duroc and Reserve purebred out of this mating last time. There was another bear there that was reserved in their open show and was pretty highly successful when he was jackpotted. In fact, he was reserved grand a couple times and then ended up cracking a toe the day of the 4-H show there at South Dakota, but his littermate brother ended up getting it done. So uh, we got a lot of confidence in, in this mating in terms of how those things will feed. Uh, starting with dash four here, I mean, this thing has got some big, big feet and big appendages. Uh, just a burly made kind of a hog whose head and neck I think rises out of his blade real well. I'm kind of anxious to hear what Joe's got to say about these two. So, Well, Brett's taking all the good talking points, but uh, <laughs> I, I think that's just a great place to start. I, I mean, you know, just you can tell the focus uh, uh, just here on stoutness in these barras in terms of just toe spread and dew claw spread. Uh, the way they square there at the ground. I think this barra is, is a little bit longer bodied, but yet still it proportions very well relative to just his litter mate, not longer body necessarily overall, but of the pair, maybe just a little longer bodied one, but man, everything just fits. His four rib shape, the turn to his rib, uh, his added just length of hip and reach his steps, very good. His most impressive view to me is up front. Again, I mean, when you just study his lower jaw line and his neck, the way it blends down into his chest, and again, yeah, it's still so good in his shoulder and knee set up front. I think that bar pieces together a lot of hard to do things, uh, particularly in a red hog, to have that kind of stoutness, uh, that kind of burly body shape and rear leg, but still bend and flex and still be that wild looking. I think that's a special type of a bar uh, that's going to have a lot of stars on my page for sure. Yeah, and I think this this hog, even though he's got some some weight to him, I, I see this one being more of a middleweight at San Antonio because I mean he's on the edges behind and up front. I mean he is. Uh, these hogs are on 803 uh, Sun Glow 803 back there in the back, but I mean this thing uh, is not for the faint of heart, and he might not be just exactly for everybody. But in terms of of one that's got the the uh, big ring details or the big ring factors that brings the extras and with that kind of rib cage i think this one's ceiling is pretty high so uh dash five if bryce will grab him here uh just being honest i'm, I'm not much of a poker player and i say this when i judge hog shows uh, a lot of times but if you if you were to pin me down and say which one's one of your absolute favorites in the set here he is uh this is a very good animal in my opinion uh, this one's hard to put a hole in um, in terms of, of uh, in terms of his litter mate. He's probably just a nickel taller at the point of his shoulder, just naturally, and his head rises out of his blade just like his mate, and got the same kind of rib cage. I mean, I, I just that one don't hardly miss a step, and he's on the corners, and uh, I just think a very balanced and proportional pig that brings the extras that that it takes to win breeds and win classes and and do things at any level from that standpoint. But uh, I'll let Joe go ahead and talk about that one. Uh, this just looks like uh, uh, the kind of red bear that you come to buyer's farms and find. Uh, I mean, you know, one again that's just build and genuineness is so good, and yet, uh, man, this thing ties a lot of extras together. I, I love his bear proportions in terms of length and size and the way everything fits and blends together. Uh, his hind leg, his skeleton, uh, to me, is just fault-free, and he just looks like an awesome feeding type of a red bear. Uh, he's one, I think, that just the way he's built and pieced together, uh, you know, he's one that uh, he, you can get him out and jackpot him, and yet still one, I think, that's going to feed and work there uh, at the big ring when it matters. Uh, that's a very, very good pig, a uh, very good litter of them, a very good pair of them here. That one there is, is as Brett said, extra, extra special in terms of the parts and pieces uh, that that guy ties together. Uh, I'd have him pretty high up on the list uh, for me. 